Hey, shalom, shalom. All right, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, All right, um, double honors to my apostles and my elders, a great millstone who rule well in peace and salutation to all you out there, out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth for truth and sincerity in your hearts and for, love, and for the love of the gospel. All right, this is the brother Shamar Yah, coming at you with another lesson from Great Millstone Branch, Gary, Indiana. All right. And this lesson is going to be about uh, uh, Micah 2 and 10, all right? Micah 2 and 10. That's the, the, the inspiration behind this lesson. All right, I got a, um, a couple of precepts here I want to pull out regarding Micah 2 and 10, the commentary behind it, you know? What this, fish, uh, this, this, this particular topic was on the spirit to do, you know? Without further ado, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. <laughs> See, like I said, I, I'm going to read it over. Arise ye and depart. So arise, that means wake up. Okay, because it says arise, so stand up, you know, stand up. Amadi in the Hebrew, in the Paleo Hebrew, the word for stand is Amadi. You know, uh, plural, Amadiyam, Amadiyam. It says, and depart, for this is not your rest. So what is your rest? Your rest is where you where you stay. And it's, 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 it's special. Okay, that it says, arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Because what? It says, this is not your rest. When you rest, you do what? You, you abide. All right, you abide, you stay, you stagnant. But it says arise. So stop being asleep. Okay. I just wanted to point that out in that, in that particular chapter. And in, in, in it and in that particular verse. Okay. If I go to the uh, the, the book of um Romans. Romans 13 and 11. It says, In that knowing the time that now is, is it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is there our salvation. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Alright, so now, right now, in this particular time right now, it is high time to wake to awake out of sleep because our salvation is around the corner. And how do we know that by prophecy? Prophecy is coming to pass, okay? And uh, the major prophecies that we have left right now is the marking of the RFID chip, the mandatory marking of the RFID chip, all right? Because the economy has already collapsed, okay? The economy has already collapsed, you know? So we are in a recession right now. And we know that... And we know that... The economy has to collapse to get rid of the paper dollar, right? To implement the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. We all know that. So now, those that have eyes to see, the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has uh, granted the light to discern his knowledge. Now we know that it's high time to wake out of sleep. So that's why we make these videos every day. We'll, we'll strive to do more than what we were doing because we know that this is the end. Okay. That's why I like that Micah 2 and 10 because it says, well, Arise, ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So wake up. When you arise, you wake up. Wake up spiritually and know that this is not your rest. So you can't uh, abide in the, in, in the philosophies of this world. Okay? Because what? It, it, later on in the chapter, it says, Well, it shall destroy you with a sore destruction because it is polluted. Okay, polluted with what? Polluted with wickedness. Okay, so we have to arise out of this, out of out of the sleep, the slumber of 
not knowing that we're not Israelites, that we're Israelites because of what? The resting place. It's the book of uh, Jeremiah proving that, this, that the, the law of the Lord is our resting place. First of all, we're going to get Jeremiah 50, right? And then after that, we're going to get, I'm going to prove that the laws and statutes and the commandments is the resting place of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I mean, it's the resting place of Israel because what? The law, statutes, and commandments was given unto the Israelites by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So Jeremiah chapter 50, all right, verse, starting at verse 6. My people have been lost, sheep, and shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All right, so let me break it down. It says, my people have been lost, sheep, and the shepherds have caused them to go astray. So those lost sheep need a guy a need of uh need of need need to be tutored to be taught these law statutes and commandments which is what this priest okay the priest is the messenger of the lord all right i'm gonna use another app to back me up on that because because the priest of yahweh is to deliver a message okay this is the book of micah chapter 2 Verse 7, it says, For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So this, these priests are to deliver a message unto the people on how to keep the law. So when you go back to the book of Jeremiah 50 and 6, it says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds, which are what their leaders, have caused them to go astray. And these leaders are set up by what Esau Edom, Creflo Dollar. You can get your... your um, uh, uh, these false prophets, all right. Not even, not even the Christian church. Not even in the Christian church, but even in the, in the Israelite community, you have what uh, ISUPK, you have what GOCC. You have these people set up by Esau Edom. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that they are set up, you know, and paid off by Esau Edom, but you have these people set up to to, to cause you to go astray, all right. For like, I didn't mean to say by set up by Esau Edom. But you have these people that cause you to go astray by not teaching you the entire law, statutes, and commandments, all right? Because in some of these camps out here, these Israelite community camps, you are allowed to have dreads where the, 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 the scriptures speak totally against that. You're allowed to have a lion all right, in your head, but the scriptures speak totally against that, okay? That was, that was my point, because you have these, these shepherds that are leading you astray. Okay. It says their shepherds have caused them to go astray. By what? By not teaching you the entire law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father with understanding. It says, and have turned them away on the mountains. Alright? And all of these mountains, okay, these mountains and these hills, it says, well, and they have gone from mountain to hill, are these different doctrines. Because when you read in the Old Testament, when you read in the book of Kings and Chronicles, okay, it tells you that these people, in, in Isaiah and in Jeremiah, it tells you that these people went from um, mountain to hill in these secret places to worship these idols, okay, to worship these other doctrines. So it tells you on the mountains, and they have gone from mountain to hill, meaning these, these false religions, all right, going astray from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and they have forgotten their resting place. And that's, that's furthermore proves that you're going to another you're going to another uh, doctrine or teaching or religion, all right? Because you're not coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Because these law, statutes, and commandments are our resting place. Now, I'm gonna read the next verse because it goes into it. It says, "And all that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries have said, we offend not." Because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Okay? So, they say it in their heart, we don't offend the Lord because these people are going off from your law. But the thing is that Esau Edom is putting the devices in front of us to go off. And the Lord is not 
giving them the knowledge to see it, but it's still done by the hand of Esau Edom. So he has to pay for that. Okay. It says what? Because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice. That's the that's our resting place. The habitation. The habitation means to abode, habitation, abode of shepherds, of flocks, of pastors. He just said we are lost sheep. Okay, so that the habitation of justice is our resting place. When you look up the word resting place, it means resting of dwelling place, rest of lying down. All right, couch, place, response. It says to lie down, to rest. That means abode. When you go to the book of Micah, right? When you go to the book of Micah 2 and 10, what's the word for resting? Rest. It says resting place, rest, resting place, quietness. Peacefully, when you go to the Strong's definition, it says uh, peacefully, figuratively, consolation. Okay, hence, abode, comfortable, with ease, quiet, rest, still. All right, so it's the same word. Okay, it's the same word. So, to prove that the law, statutes, and commandments are our resting place. I can get Deuteronomy 4 and 6. 4 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my, my God commanded me, and ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who have a God so nigh unto them as the Lord your God is in all things that we can call upon for him? I mean, that we can call upon him for. It says, And in what nation is there so great? And have and have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. So the Lord only gave us one law that no other nation had. So this is our resting place. So this is where we're supposed to be abiding. This is where we're supposed to be meditating. Okay? This is where we're supposed to be um rest uh laying in, all right, meditating. Because when you read the book of Joshua, the first chapter and the last verse, 18, let's start at 17. It says, according as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so will we, it says, so will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses whatsoever. Whatsoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto thy words and all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. And only be strong of a good courage. But uh, I want to get the part where he meditated as a 12. Meditate night word day and night. Um, that was a scripture that I wanted to lock in. Bear with me for one moment. It's eight. Sorry, I'm so sorry. This is um, Joshua, the first chapter, the eighth verse. So, like it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So that means that the book of the law shall rest in the mouth of the of those that follow it. Okay? That means it shall stay there, abide. It says, But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For when thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou and then thou shalt have good success. Alright, so basically this book of the law is not going to depart out of our mouth. So it's going to rest within us. Okay? And if this book of the law don't rest in you, then you're, you're set for a judgment by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. 
going back to the book of Jeremiah, okay? The book of Jeremiah chapter one. I never put my airplane mode on. Airplane mode on because you can't get incoming calls. Okay. The book of Jeremiah chapter fifty. Start at the seventh verse where I left off. It says and all that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries have said we offend not because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. It says, Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of, Chald of the Chaldeans and be as the he goes before the flocks. So basically lead the people in righteousness. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon in the assembly of... I'm sorry, it's the 51st chapter. So I'm sorry about these mistakes. I gotta, go, I gotta go back and read these chapters, you know. Jeremiah 51 6. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. And he, it says, of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay, it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon, deliver every man his soul. Talking about, you know, come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. See, it says, well, flee out of the midst of Babylon. The midst of Babylon is what? Her ways. The word midst, midst, middle, into, through, motion, among number of persons, between, from among. So you're among the customs and the traditions of Babylon, but you have to come back into your own customs and traditions and your culture. Okay, you're celebrating all of these holidays of Babylon. You're believing in the systems of Babylon. You're having faith in the systems of Babylon, which is what modern day America. Anything, uh, uh, anything not abiding in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay. Like Micah 2 and 10 said, uh, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is the is the this is talking about. It's talking about the the uh, the system of of this world, basically. Okay? That's what it means when it says flee out of the midst of Babylon. Deliver every man his soul, because what? The, the Lord wants to deliver every Israelite's soul. To deliver every man his soul. When you flee out of the, the system of Babylon, you believe on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh His word says that your soul will be delivered if you believe wholeheartedly and you're, you're persuaded. It says, be not cut off in her iniquity. Meaning what? Be not cut off in her iniquity. Be not joined hand in hand with her. Okay? This is the book of Isaiah 13. And, um, Exactly what verse is that? I know it's in the 13th chapter. It says, Go hand in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Isaiah 13 and 15. Isaiah 13, 15, everyone, it says, Isaiah 13, 15, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, shut up, and it shall be as the, as the chase roe, the chase roe is a deer, all right, so it's just going to be as a predator is hunting his prey, it says, it should be as a chase roe, and as a sheep that have no man take us up, so it's going to be like a sheep, a sheep has no defense mechanism, okay, that no man take us up, so no man deliver that sheep. So that sheep is going to get hunted and, and devoured. It says, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. So it's going to be like you being persecuted upon and everyone, all of these heathens in this land is going to flee to their own land. All these Arabs are going to go back to Arab. All these Chinese are going to go back to China. All the Japanese are going to go back to Japan. 
All right, all the native Russians are going to go back to Russia. You know, when 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 his hell hit, you know, they're going to go back into their own land. Verse uh, 15, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined to them shall fall by the sword. So that's what it's talking about when it, when it goes back into uh, Jeremiah 51. It says, be not cut off of her iniquity. It's talking about everyone that's joined into, everyone that is joined into them shall fall by the sword. Okay, so everyone that is agreeing with the system of the beast. Okay, the beast is the system of the world. It says, be not cut off of her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render into her a recompense. And the recompense is the ICBM nuclear missiles. If you take this chip, then you're agreeing with the system of this world. When you take this RFID chip, you're agreeing with the systems of this world. You're you're, you're joining yourself unto Babylon, which is what the, uh, the, the, uh, the the system of this world. Okay, and when you agree with the system of this world, when you take that chip, you're going to be cut off by what by way of being uh, killed by ICBM nuclear missiles, which is to come to this place. Okay, and that's the whole message. You know, hopefully I hit the nail on the head and I edified the elect of Yahweh uh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. But until next time, this lesson is over and I'll say Shalom.